Hongi Hika was a war chief of the Napui tribe and master of the north and west areas of Bay of Islands. He was born at some time in the mid to late 1770s. As a young man, he fought wars against rival tribes like Ngāti Whātua, and his combat skill, as well as his ability to crush his enemy's skulls with a jade war club, made him extremely, an extremely skilled warrior. In 1808, however, Hongi's tribe, tribal chief, while trading with the Europeans, discovered a new ultra-powerful weapon that he was certain was going to be the most awesome thing to happen to warfare. With his new weapon locked and loaded, Hongi's chief was sure he was going to drive his tri- tribal opponents away in a river of gunpowder and blood. It didn't work out so well. In the Napui's first battle against the Ngāti Whātua, it went really well until they had to reload, a process that took roughly 20 seconds, which is a really long time to be standing around when the guy is bearing down on you with a giant club. They lost the battle and were massacred. Hongi barely escaped with, with his life. He led a small group of warriors into the swamp and hid out for a while. But this was not exactly glamorous work. He was responsible for complete, for the complete change in warfare. You can be fat, not fit, or you have to have a good eyesight. Tangaro was one of the children of the Sky Father, Ranginui and Mother Earth, Papa Tūnuku. He was God of the Sea. One of his brothers was the Storm of God, Tafiri. Tafiri was so upset with his brother Tane for having separated their parents that he caused storms and hurricanes. Reptiles and other animals that lived on the land escaped on the ocean of Tangaro. That is how Māori explained the presence of the fish in the sea. Tangaro is an ancestor common to all Polynesian. His influence on people was great as he controlled the single largest food source and transportation. It is also said that Tangaro passed on the art of carving from gods to mortal men. Tangaro, the Polynesian sea god, separated the sky from earth. He is a son of the earth goddess Papa, who had so much water in her body that it swallowed one day and burst forth, becoming the ocean. There are three people on the Pōti Arongo cavern and they are Toiti Otahi, Rauru and Whātunga. During an offshore canoe race, Whātunga was swept away by high winds. Then Whātunga's grandfather, Toiti Otahi, went searching for him. Finally, after looking in many places, he came to Aotearoa and settled in the Whakatane area. The date at that time was 1150 AD. Years later, Whātunga and Toiti Otahi were reunited. Toi's son Rauru was said to be a great carver.